How can I repay the Lord for all the good done for me? Hello, I'm Bishop Robert Munch. The year of faith has been an historic year for our church and for our diocese. From east to west, from north to south, from a simple chapel to our grand cathedral, we have continued to praise God for the wondrous gifts of our church and our salvation. During this year, we recalled Vatican II's appeal to foster social communications. For the past 12 years, our diocese has been blessed by the ministry of Catholic Life TV. Catholic Life TV provides truthful, God-centered programming, which benefits all our viewing audience. There's a very small number of media opportunity for children to tune into. Catholic Life TV is just, it's one of those few things that you can always go to and they can always watch that I, I want them to watch. I have no inhibitions about them watching. I actually want them to watch and encourage them. Without financial giving, they're not going to get those programs. For generations, local Catholic schools have done an outstanding job helping our youth to develop spiritually and intellectually with a strong commitment to truth, faith, values, and service. Every single day, I see a large majority of our students, as they learn more about the Catholic faith and about how we should live our lives, I see that that is part of the value of why it is so very important. And it really is important every single day how we live our lives. The Year of Faith has renewed our efforts to provide quality Catholic education for all with a special concern for families, the basic unit of our society. The tuition assistance program is living out the mission of the Catholic Church in that it is providing opportunity for families to have their students participate in a Catholic education where in many cases they may not be able to afford it. Newly elected Pope Francis tells us that God's grace always demands our openness to Him, our free and tangible response. Your faith-filled response to our annual appeal has allowed us to undertake two special projects, the Together for Tomorrow campaign and the Sanctuary for Life. The liturgical life of our diocese centers around our diocesan cathedral. The cathedral's parish hall needs to be expanded to accommodate functions connected with diocesan events at the cathedral. In renovating our parish hall, we would improve facilities so that when people from Morganza and Pierre Part and Amite and Labadeville come to Baton Rouge to the cathedral, they'll be impressed by the church building our stained glass windows, our massive Mestrovic crucifix. Uh, so much of the liturgy is done so beautifully and so well, but we don't want to disappoint them when they walk out of church into a hall that's too small, too crowded, almost to the point sometimes of being unsafe. Catholic Charity Sanctuary for Life is our diocesan housing for pregnant women in crisis, the only one of its kind in Louisiana. I think God shows them that the important thing is you love your child enough to change your life for this child. Without God being seen through us, we won't survive. When a woman leaves the sanctuary for life, she is more likely to have a job, stable housing, and formation necessary to become the best possible parent. 3,000 years ago, the psalmist recognized that praising God required not only hands and voices, but also hearts uplifted in gratitude. On behalf of our diocese, thank you for raising your hands, voices, and hearts through the Bishop's Annual Appeal. For more information, please call 225-336-8790 
or visit baabr.org.